Good morning, this is just a quick video on how I went about making the TV cabinet from some cheap non-structural pine and some pallet wood. This is what the mounted TV cabinet looks like finished. There will be drawers and shelves underneath for storage in the future. This is the side access door to get to all the wires for the TV and the speakers and it also holds the DVD player. We have the base speaker mounted at the top and two other speakers either side of the TV. I started by running a length of timber at 45 degrees and then I moved on to a simple frame keeping everything level as I go. These two chocks get attached at the top and the bottom to keep both of my vertical pieces evenly spaced. My dad bought this hammer for me from Home Hardware when I was five. For this piece that sits up against the wall, I set my circular saw at 45 degrees and ran it down the length of the piece of timber. I attached a support piece to keep everything square and solid. I marked and cut out a channel for where the plastic strip in the ceiling sits. I make several cuts just moving the speed square up a little bit each time. And then I got some help chiseling it out. He did such a great job and he's so proud of himself. Just a bit of a look to see how the frame's coming together. Then I moved on to making the bracket for the TV. I used a piece of angle iron and flat bar, drilled some holes, and then welded it together. Centered the television and then framed it in. Moving on to the speakers, I just built a simple box for them out of pallet palings. For the frames around the speaker, I made a paper template and then traced that on. Drilled a few holes to fit the jigsaw blade down and then roughly cut out the center. I cleaned everything up with the trim router and then made sure it looked okay up against the speaker. I used some off-cut black shade cloth for behind the frame and attached it with contact adhesive. After it dried, I then cut off the excess. The base speaker has a 22mm thick MDF, so I just attached the paling straight into that. I made a cardboard template and transferred those lines onto the palings. Cut it out with a jigsaw and then smoothed it up with the 80 grit flappy disc on the angle grinder. I used the flappy disc to smooth out the larger rough spots on the palings and then moved to the 120 grit on the sander. Gave it a quick coat of stain and then attached all the palings. And this is where I started to run into some problems. When I first held my 90 degree cut and 45 together, they matched up quite decently, but after attaching them, I was not happy with how it was turning out. As you can see here, if my 90 degree cuts were actually a little bit longer, it would have matched up pretty good. But it didn't, so I pulled all those off and started that bit again. For the base speaker side, I cut my angles at 22 and a half degrees and for the TV side, I cut those angles at 45 degrees. And since I was starting fresh, I decided to go about the base speaker frame a little bit differently. I attached four palings together, kind of like I did with this door, and then I traced on my stencil, keeping all those pieces together. 
For the hinge up door I just attached some backing strips which are just some trimmed down pallet palings. I then put on two of these little latches and a handle. Now to cover in the front face. And to frame the TV. By this stage I was really getting over it and I just wanted to get it done so I quickly built the frame and it looks dodgy but it's really strong and does the job. I grinded out this channel because the TV protrudes a bit along the front edge. And then I gave it a coat of paint. I just mixed a bit of the blue and the green together to get this teal colour. I attached the frame around the TV. And then I also started covering the sides of the cabinet. I framed the front face. And it is finally done for now. If you like this video or found it somewhat helpful, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down if you like, but either way, I hope I see you next time.